Hello to all the loyal followers of the Blue Cube YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the continuation of the Adobe Animate from Zero to Hero course. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create light in a scene and how to turn a lamp on and off. If you remember, in the previous lesson we designed a scene in Adobe Animate based on a photo. Now I want to show you how to add light into the scene. For example, for this lampshade shown in the picture, we will create light for it and then learn how to turn the light on and off so that the scene becomes darker or brighter. First, I create a new layer at the very top and name it light. After creating this layer, I go to the lampshade layer that I built in the previous lesson. When I click on it, the entire lampshade is selected. But using the free transform tool, I only select the top part of it, the place where the light should come out. Then I press Ctrl plus C to copy that part. Above the light layer, I create a new layer and paste the copied part exactly in place using Ctrl plus Shift plus V. Now I need to select all the layers except the light layer and the one I just created. I click on one layer, scroll down to the wall layer, hold Shift and click to select them all. The two layers related to color and image that we created in the previous lesson are not needed here. I right click on the selected layers and choose convert to symbol so that all of them are turned into one symbol. Now the scene is cleaner, one layer for the part where the light comes out, one light layer, and one symbol layer for the whole scene. The two other layers are locked and won't affect anything. Now I select the light layer. I zoom in a little on the area to see it better. Then I right click and choose the Polystar tool. Here I can specify the number of sides. For example, I set it to 3 to create a triangle. I try to make the triangle point upwards, with the base downwards. Its color is black. I double click on it and convert it into an object so that both fill and stroke will appear together whenever I select it in the color panel. Then I place it in the proper position and enlarge it a bit. By holding Alt and dragging the shape, I make copies and extend it downward to create the beam of light. I repeat this a few times until the initial shape of the light is formed. I don't need the top part of the shape that sticks out of the lamp. With the free transform tool, I double click on the shape, select the extra part, and press delete. This way, the initial shape of the light is created. I go back to the main scene. In the light layer, I want to soften the sharp corners of the light shape. Again, I double click on it with the free transform tool. Then, using the sub selection tool, I select the corner points and, while holding Alt, I drag them to create a rounded shape. I do this on both sides so that the light looks softer and more natural. Now, back in the scene, you can see that the light layer is placed under the lampshade, making it appear as if the light is shining out from inside it. From the window menu, I open the color panel and place it beside the scene. I select the light layer and apply a linear gradient. Since light is more intense near the lamp and gradually decreases as it moves away, I adjust the gradient angle to reflect this effect. I double click on the black color stop and change it to a light yellow. Then I double click on the other stop and set it to a darker yellow for the end of the beam. To make the light more realistic, I adjust the alpha transparency. For the beginning of the light, I set the alpha to 80 so the background can still be seen through it. For the end of the beam, I set the alpha to 20 so the intensity is weaker. I also remove the stroke, outline, to make the light look more natural.
If needed, I can add a third color to the gradient. By clicking on the midpoint, I choose another yellow and set its alpha to 5. This gives the light a smoother, more natural look. Then, by adjusting the gradient sliders, I fine-tune the brightness until it looks the way I want. Now I no longer need the color panel, so I close it. After adjusting the gradient, I select the light shape, right-click, and choose Convert to Symbol. I set it as a symbol in graphic mode. Next, I go to the Filters panel. I click the plus sign, plus symbol, and select the Blur filter to soften the sharp edges of the light. I increase the blur amount slightly, around 20, so the light looks more realistic. The blur quality can also be set to medium or high. To test the effect, I press Ctrl plus Enter. Now the light appears softer and more natural. If I want the light to be stronger, I simply enlarge its size and press Ctrl plus Enter again. But this is only the first part of the work. We also need the scene to brighten when the lamp is on, and darken when the lamp is off. To do this, in the timeline I select only the top three layers, the scene symbol, the light, and the lampshade, and extend them to frame 60. Then I select the Insert Frame option to add frames. I go to the light layer. At frame 15, I set the alpha value to zero so the light disappears. At frame 30, I set the alpha back to 100 so the light is fully visible. At frame 1, I also make sure the alpha is 100. Finally, at frame 45, I set the alpha to 0 again so the light turns off. If I play the scene, you'll see the light turning off and on in sequence. When the light turns off, the whole scene should also become darker. To do this, at frame 15 I click on the scene symbol layer. In the color effects section, I select brightness and set it to minus 30 or minus 35. This makes the scene darker at the same time the lamp turns off. At frame 30, where the light is on, I set the brightness back to zero so the scene looks natural and bright again. At frame 45, I once again set the brightness to minus 30 so the scene darkens in sync with the light turning off. I also create a keyframe in the last frame. Finally, if I play the scene, Ctrl plus Enter, you can see that not only does the light turn on and off, but the scene also brightens and darkens accordingly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. See you in the next lesson, goodbye.